Nightmare Real, and you're watching Mission Boxing Today on YouTube. Heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? All right, first, I'm going to give a big shout out uh, to my man's Hat Man Strike Back. Please go to his channel if you haven't uh, went to his channel already and subscribe. I seen a video that he dropped this morning. I'm going to leave a link to that video in my description box, and you can go to it, and you can see um, where I got this information from, man. Make sure you leave him a thumbs up on that video, too, but boxing fans are fickle, man. I mean, it's almost like box. some boxing fans are like Janet Jackson. You remember that song back in the day? And I can't sing for shit, but what have you done for me lately? Dun, 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 dun. That's what fucking boxing fans remind me of. Now, whoever you believe is the best heavyweight in the division, that's your opinion. I'm not here to argue that. You know what I mean? If you believe whoever's the best is the best, fine. But now, you know, after Luis Ortiz, to some fans, uh, got exposed and struggled mightily against Malik Scott. <laughs> it's just funny even saying that. But uh, I, I can't even get it out, man. David Allen put up, he had a poll going on his Twitter. And uh, fans were voting on who would win in the fight between uh, the white rhino David Allen and Luis Ortiz and uh, David Allen was winning the poll. Now, some of you may say, oh, well, you know, it was on his Twitter, so of course people are just going to, you know, uh, vote for him. Yeah, but five days ago, if they were to do that, I'm pretty sure nobody would have really voted for him. But hey, man, I'm glad that uh, people are going to be more willing and accepting and getting the ring with him. Um, now, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. Some of, some of the tweets that I've seen that David Allen, David Allen were, was uh, retweeting was pretty damn funny. Uh, there was one where it was like a screenshot of, uh, <laughs> it was a screenshot of Luis Ortiz, you know, holding up his fist and he had a jersey on. And then under that, the caption read, uh, when your 45-year-old dad goes through a midlife crisis, talking about a 45-year-old guy wearing a, a basketball jersey. It's it's funny, you know, but let's just get in the ring and let's just see, you know, since it's so easy to beat him, let's get in the ring and beat him now. Since he's so slow and plotting and you know, uh, he's so average and he's so, so, and let's get in the ring and fight him. I'm glad. I'm happy. I, you know what? I would have been more happier had Luis Ortiz been knocked down a time or two to really, you know, spice this up because now, according to fan, he falls in the bum category to a lot of fans. He falls in a bum category. And it's funny, man. Uh, some of you fans, you know, you're just setting yourself up. <laughs> you're just setting yourself up. And what I mean by that is, you're labeling everybody bums, right? So when your favorite fighter at heavyweight division loses to one of these guys, remember, he's losing to a bum, okay? Because Luis Ortiz Tease is now considered a bum, okay? Deontay Wilder, he's considered by a lot of fans, and I see this in my comment section all the time. A lot of fans consider him a skinny, chinny, protected, uh, unskilled bum, okay? Anthony Joshua, a lot of fans consider him a stiff, inexperienced, protected, cherry-picking bum. It's in my comments section all, all the time, okay? Um, I can go through everybody. Tyson Fury, oh, he has no power. He got dropped by a cruiserweight, right? He's he's a bum, too. Plus, he uh he's sniffing cocaine now, so and he's going through rehab, so only a bum does that, right? Uh, Dillian White's a bum. All the American prospects are bums. All of them, right? Jarrell Miller's too fat to some fans. He's a, he's a bum. Gerald Washington's a bum. Brian Jennings is a bum. Um, oh, can't forget Antonio Tarver, Shannon Briggs. Old bums, right? Those guys are old bums. Um, yeah, man, pretty much everybody's a bum that I bring up on this channel. So now that everybody's a bum, it should be easier for the other bums to get in the ring to fight bums, right? I'm being sarcastic, man, but it's just the just how fickle fans are. It's just ridiculous. It's now some people are probably trolling, which I understand. But there's no, there's really some fans that believe this. They leave long messages on videos that I see all across YouTube and on social media, breaking down bums, right? Breaking down how this guy has no skills. Forget what he can do good. Let's just look at what he can't do and just break those down and stick to those because they're bums. Um, now Ortiz is going to fight, I believe that he's going to fight again this year. Was it December? Is he, is he going to fight on the Joshua undercard? I think he is. I know he's supposed to fight one more time this year. So, uh, 
you know, like I said, man, like, but people, they just forget, man. People forget so quickly. Brian Jennings has only been stopped one time in his whole career. Guess who did that? And people were picking Jennings to win the fight, right? Guess who did that to him? Luis Ortiz. I know Jennings is a bum. Klitschko could knock him out, but Ortiz could, right? Let me guess. Klitschko's a bum too, right? <laughs> Tony Thompson's only been stopped two times in his career. Guess who? Guess the two guys that stopped Tony Thompson? Klitschko and Ortiz, right? Malik Scott, yes, he got dropped by Chisura and Deontay Wilder. Some, you know, people feel as if those are fucking dives and... I already said what I feel about uh, Scott and that uh, Deontay Wilder fight, all right? And the Chisora shit, he was acting, he just had weird behavior like he wanted to quit, okay? Um, so now people are saying, oh, so Chisora and uh, Chisora must be a beast too. It's like, see, you guys want to pick and choose when you want something to count. So what about the Jennings knockout? What about the Thompson knockout? Those don't count now? But now this right here is just, you know, you're going you're to use this as a symbol as... Luis Ortiz isn't a good heavyweight. I mean, you guys can think what you want, man. <clears throat> like I said, I'm not here to change nobody's mind, but I know damn well if I'm training a fighter, if my fighters get in there with Ortiz, we're gonna train hard. I'm not gonna, you know, some like some of you guys that have your fighter get knocked the fuck out because you, you know, I can see some of you guys training your guy. You'll be in there holding the mitts. Hey, man, we're fighting a bum. Let's just train for 20 minutes today because we're fighting a bum anyways, right? Now I'm gonna have my dude in there training his ass off, getting ready for the best version of Luis Ortiz. You know, if you make the mistake going in there playing around with a six foot five, six foot, well, how tall, how tall is he? Six, six, four, six, three, however tall he is. I think he's six, four. 250 pound guy who's undefeated with a lot of amateur experience. And he's older guy. You have him going there playing around, he's going to get knocked the fuck out. So, David Allen, this is cute. You know, he went 10 rounds with Dillian White. So, is Dillian White a bum because um, he couldn't knock out David Allen, right? He should have been able to knock this guy out. God doesn't even have double-digit wins yet, right? So is Dillian White a bum? You see how we can play this game, how we can just turn a fighter into a bum by just picking up anything and say, oh, you're bum-worthy because you couldn't do this, right? <laughs> Fans are hard trip, man. Uh, Malik Scott, and there was one knockdown in that Ortiz fight. The motherfucker was on the ground for like 15 seconds looking for a way out, like pretty much making eye contact with the ref. He should have winked at him like, I don't have a camera on my face, but, you know, wink at him with his right eye. Like, come on, man, stop the fight. But uh, I thought it was funny, pretty comical, some comic relief this morning. Uh, you know, I've seen David Allen saying, you know, uh, just reading his timeline, he wants to see what the fuss is about. It's like, well, shit, he, was, he knocked out, you know, Tony Thompson and Jennings. I'm not trying to hold those guys like they're, you know, fucking all-time great fighters, but they're pretty solid guys, and they haven't been knocked out. Well... Thompson once by Klitschko twice and that's it and Jennings never you know so that was why people were like damn this dude is serious um he couldn't get Malik Scott out. he put Malik Scott down had him rolling around and acting all weird and shit on the canvas like he wanted to quit like I was telling everybody man Malik Scott whether you like him or not or you think he well I already know you think he's a bum but he uh has some of the best movement and reflexes at the heavyweight div division. It's hard to really land on a man when he's doing all that moving and he's really uh, has, you know, has a rolling as far as moving around and not standing still. And Ortiz did some shit too in that fight, man. He kept head hunting and looking for one shot when he's a way, he's a way craftier puncher than what he showed on fight night. Go watch that Jennings fight and look at the some of the punches that he he was landing. I know Jennings fought a different style. He put the high guard up, which I hate when Jennings does that because he has an 84 inch reach. He should use his jab, but he put the high guard up and he tried to walk Ortiz down. And if the white rhino think he's going to get in there and try to, if he fights Ortiz or he gets in there, he thinks he's going to walk him down and beat him up. I think he'll get knocked out. Now some of you may think, oh, he couldn't beat Malik Scott. And okay, fine. It's two different styles. Allen wants to come forward. And I see him get knocked out. That's my that that that's my poll, okay? My poll, okay, this is my poll. Does David Allen walk Ortiz down without getting knocked out? That's my poll. You know, but I like David Allen, man. I, I did videos about Allen when he was going through his situations with White, and that was a fight I was calling for, you know? So there's no disrespect to David Allen. He's having fun. He's a confident young man to think he can beat whoever, you know, and, and, and I like that. Uh, I think Allen should be in there with guys like Nathan Gorman in a few fights here or a guy like uh, Nick Webb, 
You know what I mean? Something like that to see where he's at. Or maybe like a, a Gerald Washington or Jarrell Miller or something like that. Um, but, hey, man, it's David Allen's prerogative. He can do what he wants. He can make fun of whoever he wants to. But uh, if he's if he's the one getting in there with Ortiz, I don't know if they're going to make him fight or not. You know, but I know Ortiz needs an opponent. But now, I don't know, maybe Ortiz gets a lot of offers now. And guys are taking any money because just six, five days ago, it was uh, he's high risk, low reward. So I guess now after this Malik Scott fight, I mean, people are treating this fight as, as if he lost. But to some of you, maybe it is a loss because he couldn't get um, Malik Scott out of there. And Malik Scott got beat by Wilder and Chisur, he got stopped. I get it. Okay, but he did knock the dude down three official times. And he went down on the canvas about, shit, I don't know, 12 times. <laughs> One of the times he was down for 15 seconds or so to where he was asking the ref to help him up. It was just weird. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, man, now I want to see all these guys fight him now. Since he's uh, overrated and overhyped and his amateur experience means nothing. And um, somehow, some way, the Jennings and Thompson wins have been swept under the rug. Or, I know, why do I keep forgetting this? Jennings and Thompson are bums. I forgot. I totally forgot. But, uh, yeah, man. But some of you fans out there are setting yourself up, man. Because when if, if he happens to beat one of your favorite fighters, what is your favorite fighter? Is he a bum? Let me know what you think in the comment section, man. I'm out.